Today we're going to take a close look at how a Windows device enrolls into Intune and how that process is shifting to something called MMPC. And I'm not talking about the Microsoft Malware Protection Center today. I'm talking about something else. But first things first, because in a previous ses session, we showed you how to use a SyncML tool and how the device receives its policies from Intune, right? During the demo, we briefly touched on MMPC, the Microsoft Managed Platform Cloud. But in that episode, we only scratched the surface. This session is going to dive deeper into what's changing, why all of your devices are now suddenly dual enrolled, aka linked enrolled, and how that impacts policy delivery and speed going forward. So if you're managing devices with Intune, which you probably are, otherwise you wouldn't be looking at this episode, and you want to stay ahead of what's coming, and what Microsoft isn't showing you, please subscribe. So you won't miss the next one. I guess it's time to start looking how policy delivery works today. First, need to look at how the Intune enrollment process works. Well, let me talk you through it then. So when a device enrolls with Windows Autopilot or your regular enrollment itself, it should normally begin by joining Entry ID. And if the user is in the correct MDM scope and has the right license, the device will automatically enroll into Intune. Of course, if that's not happening, you definitely need to check one of our blogs because we digged through that in detail. So please check that out. So once the device is enrolled into Intune, the, the uh, Intune will start applying the assigned policies using the OMA DM protocol, the Open Mobile Alliance protocol. And these policies will come down in how you call it a SyncML format. The funny thing is those settings will come down in SyncML one setting at a time, one by one by one. Well, that explains the speed, right? And it's also good to know that they are processed by the good old trustworthy Windows phone provider. Who doesn't know about that? Well, it's the OMADM client Windows uses today to receive the policies. And that is the model most of us already know. But Again, let's do a quick recap about that then. So when a device needs to receive an Intune policy, the device will start checking in. Intune will then determine how the policy is configured with the get command. From there on, it will send offset the policy and report back. It does so policy by policy by policy. So yeah, it can take a while before everything is configured. and. Of course, you can trace this process using Fiddler and the tools like SyncML Viewer. We also showcased in one of our previous pattern rent sessions. So that's what's all right. Let's talk about what's changing and why I think that it's pretty important to know. What many admins don't realize is that every single Intune enrolled device is now actually being dual enrolled automatically. I guess the name tells us enough, but dual world, well, let me explain that a little bit more. Because this all started with the Advanced Device Inventory Future Microsoft release some time ago. This future is a core capability in Intune. So it's free and all devices could get it. And just like with the Endpoint Privilege Management solution for Microsoft, it requires a second management channel. This channel is called MMPC, which again stands for Microsoft Managed Platform Cloud. They renamed it a couple of times because for the first name was Microsoft Managed Platform Cloud. Well, it sounded a little bit weird because that could tell you that Microsoft was managing it and that's it, right? But this dual enrollment, it's also called the linked enrollment. So if you Google for it, dual enrollment, linked enrollment, you will find some articles describing the whole flow. And it's good to know that this dual enrollment runs in parallel with MDM. The funny thing is you can't configure anything in Intune. There is no checkbox, no toggle. This dual enrollment, the linked enrollment, it just happens in the background and you won't notice it. Well, looking back 
uh, with EPM. I know that there was a hidden graph call back in the day. And with that graph call being invoked, you can just onboard your tenant with MMPC. But, well, that's been quietly removed. Well, I won't know why, maybe because I posted something about it. But, well, so now every device is managed by both the classic engine, MDM engine, and MMPC. The traditional, traditional MDM engine uses SyncML to deliver individual comments to the CSPs. The MMPC engine also uses the SyncML, but instead of sending one policy at a time, it delivers a single configuration model with all the settings in it. That model of that document is processed by a different local service. Well, the OMADM client is also involved, but to process that document, a new service was brought to life. This service has, has been called the WinDC service. The Windows Declared Configuration Service. And we will explore how that works in more details in a couple of minutes. And, well, looking at the bigger, pictures, bigger picture, this shift lays the groundwork for gradual moving policy enforcement from MDM to MMPC, because nowadays all the policies are still managed or delivered by Intune, by the MDM provider. And that's about to change. And yes, Microsoft already started testing this approach with a couple of futures. So we'll get to those examples shortly. So what is MMPC going to change? With Intune, the service will send down individual instructions. It's like, well, it is get, set, get. Each setting is pushed one at a time and it's processed by the local MDM client. It will recheck the setting only when the device syncs again. If a user changes something in between, it, it might stay wrong for hours or even longer. MMPC replaces that entire flow with something new, a new configuration model. Instead of one by one comments, the device will receive a single declared document. That document defines the entire desired state. So yes, we finally have a desired state configuration with Intune and Windows, not only Mac devices. The Windows declared configuration, the WinDC service, the engine, keeps that desired state, that declared document, locally and constantly compares it against the system. If any policy drifts, and even offline, it is fixed instantly without waiting for sync from Intune, MMPC. That's continuous enforcement. Settings are enforced all the time. The drift is corrected in real time. Compliance holds even when the device is connected. And the best thing, enforcement is way, way faster than we now see with Intune these days. So for IT, that means fewer help desk tickets, less chasing after broken configurations, less people that are angry because they think it's slow, and, well, more trust that the policy you have configured and deployed is actually really enforced on the device. And I guess it's time for a joke because, yes, this is the part where the S in Intune finally stands for speed. Yeah, sorry, for, sorry about making the joke, but you get it. And of course, this change is not going to happen overnight. Every existing policy has to be ported and validated for MMPC before it can take advantages of this new model. Something Microsoft is still rolling out, but well, you don't have to wait to see it in action. Some futures are already using it right now. Looking back at what, which futures are already using MMPC, I guess that's pretty obvious because I was already, already mentioning the endpoint privilege management because 
test feature is also uh, using and triggering the, uh, the linked AKA dual enrollment. But again, it's not only for premium features anymore because as mentioned before, advanced device inventory also relies on MMPC. It uses a properties catalog to collect uh, or to start the inventory data collection. And that's handled by the Windy C, not the MDM stack. And since then, things have started to move further. And also, maybe a small side note, um, MDA attached version 2 is also using MPC in the background with, uh, without anyone noticing it. But, well, again, those are the features that rely on MPC. And from there on, things start to move further because we are now seeing early signs that the resource exit policies. Do you know the slider in the Config Manager SCM? bar window that we could move uh, the workloads, the resor resource access workload to Intune? Well, the resource access policies contain the Wi-Fi VPN and certificate profiles. And those are next in line to shift to MMPC. Looking at the code, those policies are already defined in the scheme and reference inside the corresponding DLL files. And yes, I look at DLL for fun, so every single time a new Windows version comes out, I will check the WinDC service to find out what's happening and if they are indeed ready to move over from MDM to MPC. But by the looks of it, that authority hasn't switched yet. But again, for those policies, the groundwork, the groundwork is already in place. Well, in fact, behind the scenes, MMPC is already running in how do you explain ghost mode? Because it's quietly uh, elevating, uh, evaluating these profiles, every single policy to see if they apply cleanly. It's not enforcing anything, it's just checking. It's just validating via telemetry that it would work if the enforcement were, was handed over from MDM to MMPC. Once Microsoft knows it all, and it's, it's okay with flipped authority behind the scenes, it will enforce the shift from MDM to MMPC finally. And with it, those resource access policies will be moved over. And from there on, I guess all the policies will be eventually moved over. And even while Microsoft is changing how policy delivery is enforced, how it's moving the policy from MDM to MMPC, the need to patch and manage apps stays the same. Patch my PC continues to deliver apps, even if all policies were moved from Intune to MMPC. So if you want to see how Patch My PC fits into this world, even with all the policies moved over to MMPC, well, come to our website and book a demo. We will show you how we ensure that all of your apps stay up to date automatically and at scale. So thanks for watching. And if you want more deep dives like this, especially on futures Microsoft doesn't talk about, make sure to subscribe. Well, see you next time. Join over 8,000 organizations that trust Patch My PC to keep 25 million devices up to date. It's secure, automatic, and built to scale. See for yourself. Click the link to book a live demo with a Patch My PC engineer now.